Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, let's troubleshoot the HP Omen desktop. I have three long beeps followed by three short beeps. And this here is HP Omen 30L desktop. I apologize to you, I can't fit the entire angle of the desktop, but trust me, this is HP Omen computer. Now, this is the uh, live power wire cable it is connected to the outlet i'm going to plug it into the power supply here in the back and i'm going to press the power button in the front you can see that the graphics card light came on cpu fan spin the ram light comes on and you can hear the three beeps that is the long three beeps followed by three short beeps. No display on my monitor. I don't see anything on the screen and just beep like this. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna pull out the uh, power cable, making sure that the computer is no power at all. I'm gonna press this internal access. That's the push button here in the back of your desktop screen. So push that so that we can lift up the entire glass. Once you have removed the glass, we then now can see the entire, uh, the internal part of your desktop. Okay, so first thing I like to do is maybe troubleshoot the RAM. That would be the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna push the two sides here on the side. Uh, that's the two clipper. And then I'm gonna do on the second one, push it down. And then it would just pop the, uh, the RAM out. Okay, so I'm going to remove the RAM and let's take a look here. It says 8 gigabytes and this is a DDR4 RAM, I believe. Let's get a DDR4 RAM and slot it in. So here's my DDR4 RAM. Make sure you have the uh, that little gap aligned to the RAM slot correctly, okay? So what you want to do is you want to kind of make sure that the RAM drops right on top of that little gap in between. And then once you have the aligned gap that, that is correct to the motherboard, you want to push it down on both sides at the same time. You can hear that little click the clicks and clamp onto the RAM. So we change out both RAMs into one and see what happens now. I'm gonna plug in the power. The power is plugged in and press the power button. All right, I'm still getting a three long beeps followed by three short beeps. So the RAM that we replaced wasn't the issue. Let's troubleshoot the graphics card. I just pull out the main power cable again. Make sure you always disconnect. Do not get electrocuted. Safety first. So I just removed that eight, uh, four pin connector or well, eight pin connector. If you want to count it, uh, 2468 8 pin connector PCIe that's for the graphics card and let's get a Phillips screwdriver here removing that little screw that is on the bracket there should be one more right there okay once you have removed the two screws you can now slide that bracket holder straight out. And the next step is to remove the screw here, which is holding down the graphics card. I'm kind of doing the elimination troubleshoot here by replacing every single hardware until we get to the motherboard and see which is the three long beeps and three short beeps.
is indicating about. Here has this little uh, clipper that clips onto the PCIe slot. So you're going to press it down, release that clip, and you can just pull it straight out of the graphics card by lifting it up. Okay, that is the graphics card. I'm going to put the graphics card here on the side. And let me find... Uh, we need to have a graphics card here. I have a low profile graphics card. This is just a tester graphics card that I got. It still works. It doesn't need a power. I'm just going to install temporary for now until I get a display on a monitor and without the beeping sound. All right, I'm gonna replug the power back in and press the power button. Voila, there's no more beep on a computer. So this is a good sign. So what that tells me that three long beeps and a three short beeps comes from the graphics card. Okay, so how do I know? Because with the temporary graphics card that I install, the computer powers on, no beeps at all. I'm pretty sure there's a display on a monitor screen. It's just that I do not have a monitor to plug in and show it to you guys um, here on the YouTube video. But I will turn off the computer. And the next thing what I'll do is double checking, making sure uh, it's a graphics card. So what I'll do is I'll plug this graphics card into my second desktop. I do have a second desktop uh, that needs a graphics card. So when I plug it in, and if I'm not getting display on that second desktop, then I know for sure that this graphics card has just gone bad. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the power by unplugging it. Unplug the power and double checking again, making sure it is not from the RAM. So I'm going to press the both sides of it, remove my RAM and place in the original RAM from HP. All right, I gotta make sure I press it all the way in and you can give a little tuck on both sides of the clipper just to kind of tuck it back in there and then make sure the graphics card, the temporary one is still installed and I'm gonna plug in the power and let's turn on the computer once more just to make sure that the RAMs are okay as well. So I just turn it on. I'm getting light on the RAM, which is a good sign. And I don't hear any beeps. And I can hear the fan on the CPU starting to mellow down. It goes on the idle speed, which is a good sign. And great. So again, we found a solution. We fixed it. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. Um, all I'm asking in small return from a favor. If you find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Now, if you want to show appreciation that when you follow along my video and was able to fix your desktop, please click on that super thanks on YouTube. Super thanks on YouTube helps me to make small businesses like myself uh, to make more of this kind of video content for you. So if you want to show appreciation to me and if you find this video is helpful, please share and click that super thanks i really appreciate for any uh, price that you guys give all right thanks again for watching until next time take care and wish you all the best